Hi everyone, today we are having roast pork or siu yolk in Cantonese. I'm not a professional chef, so some of these things might look very strange to chefs, but it works. And if it works for me, it will work for you. All you need is good pork belly. Hopefully it's fat enough. It doesn't look as fat as how I normally want it. But I have put this out in the fridge overnight to dry the skin. We need these things. We need garlic, lots of salt, the rice wine and the five spice powder. Okay, don't look that it's expired in 2016. <laughs> the only thing that happens to it is that it might lose some of its uh, take strength. Okay, what you do... Okay, this is just amateur hour, okay? So if I can do it, everyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Just need a bit of planning. And fatty pork belly. Had to eat a lot of roast pork to, to learn how to do it. Lots of experimenting. Everyone has to suffer through all the roast pork. Probably find that whatever you cook, you want to get it right. All your friends and relatives have to eat the same thing for three times. Hopefully you won't lose all your friends and relatives. Your relatives you can't lose, but hopefully you won't lose all your friends. Here is all the salt on the pork belly with the skin. You must have it with the skin, otherwise it doesn't work. You can't get crackling without skin. See, what you have to do is make like a snow feel of salt. Now we have to wait 20 minutes. In the meantime, you have to heat up your oven. When you cook, you must have a timer. Otherwise, you'll be so impatient and you just refuse to wait. So when you have a timer, just wait. I feel like I'm counting down to the new year or something. Three, two, one. Yay! Okay, here goes. What you do is move the fly <laughs> thing. See here? It's so wet, you see? The sauce has become so wet. And this is despite putting it in the fridge open, in the fridge for overnight. So we have to get rid of all of this. Get rid of all of this because the salt is wet. And if you don't get rid of it, the skin will not crackle. I guess they're all starving or something. Had it dry. With cloth. Uh, Had it dry with paper towels. So wet. Have to be dry, super dry. Okay, in the meantime, okay, this is. Belly. Got this from a Western butcher. It's different cut if you go to a Chinese butcher. You need to have this for you. A shortcut. Shortcut to everything. You put a bit of Chinese wine. Chinese wine, just a little bit. Apparently, the Chinese wine will remove any smell or any taste. Not <laughs> remove the taste of the pork, that's what you want, but remove the kind of gamey smell. Okay. Oh, actually, I had marinated the bottom part, the pork, with salt from yesterday. So here's where you cheat put garlic but instead of crushing or whatever just scrape it all on scrape all the garlic here I have three cloves I think three cloves is enough garlic for the garlic taste this. so see you only use this and save yourself from all the chopping and washing of knives and chopping board and everything. <laughs> 
So lazy, huh? Yeah. But this is what cooking is about. Being lazy. So you put lots of garlic. Give it a taste. Notice I didn't put garlic on the skin. Because, you know why? If I put the garlic on, it will be wet again. This is my five spice powder. Put five spice powder. Okay, it's very old and expired, but uh, who cares? I'm sure you have a lot of these old expired spices in your in your pantry. It's quite alright. You can still use it. So I've got salt from yesterday. I got the garlic, and I got the five spice and the Chinese wine. Okay, let me just okay. and stab it, stab it. Some people would uh, slice. This is to poke little holes in it. You don't have to worry. The skin is very tough. You can stab it. If you do slice it, you have to make sure that it doesn't uh, slice. You don't really go into you break the skin but don't really puncture it don't know how to explain it anyway there you are little little tiny little pin pricks that's because if the oil comes out of the skin what you will get is you get moisture which is terrible okay. more salt Here's the pork. See, it's on this tray so that the air goes through. High heat in the oven. This is a very big oven. Normally, you cook it at 180 degrees, but the pork is so thin, so and such a big oven, so I heated it up at 200 degrees. Now for the range hood. You know how people, they would sit there and watch telly? Okay, for me, I sit here and watch the meat cook. <laughs> but what you do is you set the timer for like maybe 15 minutes, run off and then come back later. 15 minutes has passed. Oh, uh, hang on. And it doesn't look cooked. But it's fine, it's fine, we must be patient. I think it's a bit too high. Let me just reduce the heat a bit. So I just open it and see what's inside. Here goes quickly. Whoa! Set for another 15 minutes. And we can sit here and watch. Instead of watching Kelly, we'll just sit here and watch the meat cook. While we are waiting for the meat to cook, I set my timer for another 15 minutes. I just want to show you this thing. It's a meat thermometer. It's really good. And uh, that's because... It's really good, it's not because it'll help you cook. It's at least to know whether the meat is cooked inside. Okay? Because sometimes you don't know, you know, whether the meat is cooked inside. It might look nice, when the meat is not cooked inside, then you're going to poison the whole world. Just as a general kind of guide, meat is cooked after 63 degrees Celsius. And uh, if, but if you want to make sure it's really cooked, things like pork and all that, I'll make sure it's like 70 degrees onwards or uh, 75 to 80 degrees that's really cooked. There's one thing when the meat is cooked, how do you know whether the meat is cooked? When the meat is cooked, it shrinks. That's because the fat and the moisture have come out of the meat, so it shrinks, so you know that the meat is cooked. In the meantime, this sure looks the same as before. I will set the timer and go off to watch Tally and come back later. After this, that means it has been cooking for 30 minutes. Then I need to see, I need to check if the inside is actually cooked. 
I'll use my meat thermometer and if it's cooked, then I'll start working on the crackling. It looks like something is happening up there. There's the oil dripping down. Is it coming? Yes! In the end, I've decided to cook it at quite a high temperature because the meat is very, very thin for a roast pork. Right, my timer has gone off. Let's just see what's happening in there. Wow, lots of smoke. Looks good, looks good. Okay, I'm going to test the meat temperature and then I will do the crackling. Okay, since you're waiting for it to crackle, you saw it crackled. See, you put, I put the temperature thermometer in. 75 on the outside, it should be fine. At least 70 on the inside. You have to be patient. Make sure it's directly under the element. Is it under the element? Yes, it's directly under the element. This is more exciting than watching an action movie. This is real life. Watching your food burn. <laughs> Taking it out of the oven. Burn a bit, but never mind. At least we got some of the crackling here. I think this one is going to be not so great. Okay, we will see how it goes later. I've got to rest the meat now for another, say, five, eight minutes, I think. Thank you. Mm. I hope you enjoyed my cooking. Bye.